Today's video is about using Linwax's polyacrylic water-based finish in clear matte. But I want to talk to you guys about something really quickly. The purpose of these videos is to share skill sets that I've learned over the years in my career as a woodworker. I've been doing it for over a decade now, and I used to come from a really judgmental place, and I was judged often on technique, which tools I used, what finishes I used. Finishes are incredibly stressful no matter what level you're at and what size shop you're running. Uh, even the very best of the best can screw up or have something flash out, crack, orange peel, you forget to clean a certain way. So this video is uh, me intentionally doing some things that I wouldn't highly recommend and also showing a recovery method for that. And all, honestly, it ends up working out okay. If you're here on this channel, I hope you learned something from it. Uh, please don't come from a place of extreme judgment. It won't affect me, just don't want to discourage others because I uh, am a student of YouTube. Uh, when I first started off in my career woodworking, I used it all the time, and I still do. So hopefully, this channel becomes a place where YouTube can learn. Let's dive back in. So we're using a foam roller. Um, that's my first thing I would say is probably a bad idea. And the reason being, this polyacrylic, um, I haven't used it very much in my career, but from the one time I remember, two times I remember, it gets very bubbly. So I'm putting it on here and I'm, I'm kind of doing the mowing the lawn thing, half lapping as I go. I want to note that this was about 75 degrees with 50% relative humidity in my environment, which is about as perfect as it gets for doing finishing. And right away, I'm kind of seeing some issues here. It's flashing out so quickly, the bubbles don't have time to lay down. And so they're actually starting to, what I think is stand up instead of lay out. Now, obviously I could tip this out with a brush. But the experiment here is just to use a foam roller and you can see just how frothy this finish is. It's like a freaking clear coat latte up here. And I'm getting nervous, uh, but I, I wanna continue on with this tabletop. I just kinda wanna see what happens. Here's a time lapse. I think relative time is actually three and a half, maybe four minutes on this clip. Um, you can see some of the bubbles starting to dissipate and lay out. Um, however, without tipping, um, here's 10, 15 minutes later, those are hardened bubbles. Those are not going anywhere no matter what you do. That's a problem. If you actually look over here, it looks like dried soap. I mean, it's freaking unbelievable. Just not a very good finish. And so you're really going to have to do something to cut these peaks back down, whether it's scuff sanding or getting back after it. Uh, here I was scuff sanding and just finding that it really wasn't doing the trick. And also sometimes when I scuff sand uh, with water base, I tend to still see the sand marks from the sandpaper, the abrasive. So I switched to my favorite setup, which is my Festool Rotex. I put a one inch foam pad on it, cut the dust control down to half, and turn my speed down so I don't get pigtails. Once I did that and cut through those top peaks, I'm coming right back at it with the foam roller, just to see, just to see what happens. Sometimes in your shop, things don't go perfectly, and I wanna mimic here. Maybe you get a phone call, or maybe you got a kid and the, the kid needs your attention. Maybe there's a dog. Maybe you got chickens that are wild. Sometimes things happen where you gotta set something down or you make a little whoopsie. When we get frustrated, um, you tend to say, F it. So here, I just wanna mimic that, and I'm just gonna throw the finish on here. Normally, I would not do this. Uh, I would not recommend it either, but I wanna see how this acts. And what it does is okay. I feel like a little heavier coat um, helped out. I'm gonna speed it up here, showing me spread it around. The thing with the foam roller is, the more you spread it, the worse off I think you're gonna be with the aeration and the bubbles, which is really unfortunate. Um, I find a quarter inch nap roller doesn't do that as much. So here I'm tipping it out with a, a decent little brush. And I always worry about my end grain at the very end of the project. I never get too caught up in that. But this is taking forever and I'm fearful that yet again it's going to dry and flash out before I can get done. So I just move as quickly as possible without touching areas I already have. So this is post, uh, I think this is the third coat here. I have the Rotex up there. It's looking okay. Um, I ended up scuff sanding one more time 
And then I swapped finishes completely to the Helmsman water base bar urethane, which I'll do a second video on later on. Uh, the reason being, I couldn't get the bubbles to leave. If you look right here, uh, this final image, this was the last coat of the polyacrylic and it still had some bubbles tracing in my brush, brush strokes. So um, post Helmsman water base finish, here we go. Fully buffed out at 220 and two coats of Helmsman water base finish on top of about three coats of the polyacrylic. All in all, what would I say? Not a huge fan of polyacrylic for a top coat, but I'm a pretty big fan of it as a sealer. Um, I think if you have it laying around the shop, it's got great applications to save you money on sealing the project. And, uh, you know, be careful. You might have better results than me. I certainly think if you're going to use it, absolutely avoid using a foam brush because that is completely foolish and there's, there's not going to be a good outcome for you. So I hope that this was helpful just to kind of see what happens when you do use a foam brush. Things I would do differently in the future. One, um, Probably not use in max polyacrylic. Advantages, however, it's incredibly fast drying, it's incredibly affordable. The VOC is not as high as some other finishes, the fumes are not as bad. Still recommend ventilation and potentially a mask uh, depending on how sensitive or enclosed an area you're in. The cons are at 75 uh, degrees with 50% relative humidity, kind of ideal conditions for a finish room. This stuff was flashing out before I could finish this panel, which was roughly 32 inches by 6 feet, give or take. I'm not that large of a tabletop and I couldn't even get all the way through it. So the disadvantages are it dries too fast, tends to get bubbled out. Now again, this is just using the foam roller and a little bit of tipping brush. Um, I think we'd have much better results if it was sprayed, just brushed on, or nap rolled and then tipped out with the brush. But again, this video is just to show what happens if you use a foam roller. Um, in summary, don't, don't do it. Probably not a good idea. If you guys like this video, do a favor, thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I will do my very best to get back to them. Hope you guys are having an awesome time doing whatever you do. See ya.